Hi, this is Sean from Martell's Coins, and today we're going to be going through some of our recent purchases through our retail coin shop. Today we're going to be going through some coins that we bought recently through our retail coin shop, and a uh, few are the nicer pieces. I brought them to show you guys um, just different types of coins and some of the nicer stuff first coin take a look at it's an 1876 cc seated down as you can see it's very nice original color which I like nice detail and then the reverse is very nice also as you can see Next coin is a 1944 Walking Liberty half dollar. It's got a little yellow toning in the middle, but it's got really nice cartwheel luster to the coin. Uh, reverse and reverse. So it's a nice original 1944 half dollar. That's why I like it. Next up, we got an 1807 bus quarter. Anytime I pick these up, I really like them. Reason is, it's very, very hard to find any early 1800s bus quarters in no matter what condition. And this is nice because you can make out the 25 cents on the bottom and date is very legible on this coin. So anybody looking for an early type piece, this is perfect type of coin for them. Because as soon as you get higher grades, coins get very expensive in this type of these type of years. The next one we have is an 1835 bus dime in a fine condition. Still got the full liberty on the headband. Nice original color to the coin. We have a semi key date. Morgan Dollar in an older holder. That's why you see the green here. This was originally the green from the older plastic holders, so it's got PVC on it. But it's a, it's a nice coin for a semi key day type of Morgan Dollar. Next, we have is one of my favorite pennies. It's a 1955 double die. Reason is, this is a key variety for war and for wheat sons. Something where you really don't need a magnifying glass to see the doubling. As you see, Ngavi Trust is heavily doubled. 55 and the Liberty. Very nice coin. A little bit off color, but it is an AU condition type coin. Very, very nice buy. I'm very happy with this coin. Anytime I get them, a lot of times I end up keeping them because they're so nice. But this one I might end up putting it on our website for a collector to enjoy. We have here a 79S Blue Pack Morgan Dollar from GSA. This Morgan Dollar is very, very nice condition. Something like this, back is hardly any mark, and it's a couple of toning spots on it. But something like this, if I sent it to a grading company, we probably would come back in a 66 holder, or a 65 plus holder. So something like this, I'd probably send to NGC. And just see what kind of condition, or type of grade we get back. So this one should be fun. As for, we also got a couple of paper money currency notes. This one first is a 1928, excuse me, 29 Federal Reserve, Chicago note, brown seal. Very nice condition. Something like this would be probably like a, a, a VF type of note. Next up, we have a $10 gold certificate. 
which also is a nice note. There's not really no damage, no holes. Nice original circulated condition. And then we have the $20 version of a gold certificate. A little bit nicer than the $10 gold, gold certificate. Nice original color. Then we have the $20 version of the Hawaii. Again, nice VF condition. Nice original color Cir for a circulated note. No holes or tears or anything like that. Hawaii notes are not easy to come by in higher denomination. This is one of those nice, neat notes. Then we have the Black Eagle $1 silver certificate. Then we come across one of my favorites. It is a 1922 gold certificate, $20 bill. It's just, it's nice that their earlier notes, I wish they were produced the way they are then now, is just the detail they put into it and the design. They're very, very nice with the older large size notes compared to the notes today where they're kind of plain and boring. On with the graded coins of the week. First, we got a 1936 Bay Bridge commemorative, an MS65 grade. Then we got an 1893 Colombian. Colombians, normally in circulated condition, are very, very common. It's one of the most common commemoratives you'll see. But with the Colombian, they're very, very hard to find in uncirculated condition. And this one is an MS-65 NGC, which is a nice original toning to it. Hard to pick up in the light, but this has got really nice blue and purple tonings in the background. Next up, we got 1936 NGC MS-65 Bridgeport commemorative. Another reason I pick up a lot of commemorative is it's an inexpensive coin for a very low mintage U.S. mint product. So it's not a bad series to collect just because, you know, the mintage is so low on these. And we got a 1935 Connecticut MS-65. Then a 1936 Delaware MS-65 NGC. A 1936 Colombian MS-65. Very nice coin. Nice design. And here's a 1936 Colombian also, but this one's MS-67 with beautiful white carp wheel original luster. I really like this one. This one would probably be sent to, to CAC and hopefully get a sticker on it just because it's so nice original coin. And you've got the 1936S Bay Bridge. And there's one good thing about the commemoratives. They always got really nice designs on it. Here you get the picture of the Bay Bridge. Very, very nice. And last but not least, one of my favorite buys of the week is a Morgan Dollar 1878 a tail failure variety. Older style NGC holder MS65. This coin is very, very nice. Nice purple and orange toning in the back. This coin is definitely going to be sent to CAC and then see what they think and it should have a green bean on it just because it's such a nice original coin. A lot nicer than you see the NMX 65s of the modern type slabs compared to the older ones. Very nice coin.
Well, that's all for our video today. If you like our video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.